He stood there for an hour, for two hours, for three hours, and the frost increased greatly so that he heard the breaking of the trannines under his foot as often as he moved. He was thinking, in his own mind, at last that the she hogs would not come that night, and that it was as good for him to return back again, when he heard a sound far away from him, coming towards him, and he recognized what it was at the first moment. The sound increased, and at first it was like the beating of waves on a stony shore, and then it was like the falling of a great waterfall, and at last it was like a loud storm in the tops of the trees, and then the whirlwind burst into the wrath of one rout, and the she hogs were in it. It all went by him so suddenly that he lost his breath with it, but he came to himself on the spot and put an ear on himself, listening to what they would say. Scarcely had they gathered into the wrath, till they all began shouting and screaming and talking amongst themselves, and then each one of them cried out, My horse and bridle and saddle! My horse and bridle and saddle! And Gulish took courage, and called out as loudly as any of them, My horse and bridle and saddle! My horse and bridle and saddle! But before the word was rowled out of his mouth, Another man cried out, Hurrah, Gulish, my boy, are you here with us again? How are you getting on with your woman? There's no use in your calling for your horse tonight. I'll go bail you won't play such a trick on us again. It was a good trick you played on us last year.